Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro hearing from scientists in the New Haven area this morning. Their groundbreaking medical work is often funded with your tax dollars. News 8's Ken Pierce live to tell us this midday why DeLauro now has more power over that funding. Good afternoon, Kim. Good afternoon to you, Keith. And it's all because Democrats are now in the majority in the House of Representatives in Washington. That means DeLauro is now the chair of the Appropriations Subcommittee that oversees and funds the National Institutes of Health. Now, the NIH handed out more than $450 million in grants to Yale researchers alone just last year. That money goes to researching things like cancer, measles, diabetes, drug abuse, mental health, strokes, and more. The Congresswoman got some of those researchers together today to talk about the kinds of breakthroughs they're making here in the New Haven area thanks to NIH funding. One Yale doctor is working on the problem of antibiotic resistant bacteria. We looked to an old idea and we updated it. Predating antibiotics was the discovery of certain viruses called phages that are specific to bacteria and they'll kill bacteria instead of these drugs. That's pretty amazing stuff. The congresswoman heard from him and another Yale researcher who's using DNA technology to fight brain tumors, as well as many more folks. And the plan is to take all those stories back to Washington, where she and others will be working on the NIH on its funding priorities. NIH grants often help researchers take their first step towards big discoveries. Once they can get over those first couple of hurdles, do some trials, prove that they're onto something, then they can attract the attention of big venture capitalists for the rest of their funding. And hopefully, once they get it, they stay around New Haven. Pump some of that money back into the local economy. I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.